Hello, hi, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part 73 of 999, the number of the... No, sorry, uh, 666, the num... It's not even the number of anything. It's just 666 by Aphrodite's Child. This is a pain in the backside to try and uh, get these videos done because uh, they are getting blocked left, right and centre. Uh, however, I have found that... Strangely enough, some of these, if you just put three tracks together, or four tracks, um, it seems to work. But three seems to be the magic number for the past, the last two videos. However, this one I've also tested, and we've got uh, three, four tracks lined up, and these shouldn't uh, get blocked at all. So this is the beginning of disc two from this CD. Now. Let me tell you what we're going to be listening to. We have got seven trumpets, Al, Al, Altum, Altamont? Hmm, I was going to say allotment. <laughs> so seven trumpets, Altamont, the wedding of the lamb, and the capture of the beast. Again, this is quite short. We've got uh, 35 seconds, four minutes 33, three minutes 38, and two minutes 17. And then we'll conclude the... Um, the video with, uh, so the, sorry, the CD with the, the last part, which will have Infinity, Hick and Nun, Nuncy, or Nunk. All the seats were occupied, which is a bit of a beast. That's a 19-minute jobby. And break. And uh, that's what we shall do. So there we go. Um, so without any further ado, let's go. Three, two, one, pop. Ladies! Seven trumpets, the sound of thunder. Seven trumpets, the threatening anger. Seven trumpets, the trembling voice. Seven trumpets, you've got no choice. Seven trumpets, the seven angels. Seven trumpets, the music changes. Track two. Altamont. I know it's not a cowbell. It sounds like I'm striking an anvil. It's really interesting. The quality of the recording is very different at different stages of this album. This sounds really good. Almost hawkwindlish, hawkwind-ish.
a sight we had one day on the high mountain. We saw a lamb with seven eyes, we saw a beast with seven horns, and a book sealed with seven seals, seven angels with seven trumpets, and seven bowls filled with anger. Seven is a very important number, isn't it? Those are the pictures of what was, of what is, and what is to come. We're the people, the rolling people, the why people, the waiting people, the wanting people, the tambourine people, the alternative people, the angel people. We're the people, the rolling people, the why people, the waiting people, the wanting people, the tambourine people, the alternative people. The angel The Wedding of the Lamb. Oh, this is really good. I like this little bit. That was the wedding of the Lamb.
it. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Now comes the capture of the beast. That's what it is. This is such good music. This is really, really good. It's a strange album because there's some really amazing, amazing parts and other bits which are... Huh, I don't get that. That's a bit odd. But there are some amazing bits on this record. Finishes. Um, I think that probably then uh, goes, as all of these do, goes straight into the next track, which is Infinity. Uh, it's just represented by the Infinity symbol on the back of the, the CD here. Um, I was, uh, you probably may have seen it actually. I was, did a uh, Reactors Assemble video a couple of two or three nights ago um, with Doug and Ruben, and they were asking about this CD and I said at the time I'm very glad I'm not just I, I'm glad I'm not sitting down and listening to it all the way through in one one sitting because I think actually it's probably a bit overwhelming um, breaking it up into these smaller pieces is kind of making it uh, a sort of more, more manageable feast as it were uh, there's that old adage isn't it? how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time well it's kind of a little bit like it is for this um, the first bit that I listened to straight through uh, was really, really, really good. Um, a lot of, I think I actually had the sort of, uh, was it the Four Horsemen, Loud, 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 and um, I think, one, two, three, one, two, three, um, a G and C as well. So there's several pieces on there which were really quite sort of great pieces, and, um, and then sort of lots of, not filler, because that's kind of a bit unfair on, on this band, but just stuff that was less interesting. But it kind of sort of makes a bigger a bigger record in that way. But then we had... Um, I could only do it by, <laughs> by doing t t some two very, very short little videos with just three pieces on each. Um, um, the Marching Beast, The Battle of the Locusts, and Do It. Do it! That's cool. Um, uh, tribulation... Beast and Ovis, or Ophis, Ovis, not quite sure how you say that, um, which are just teeny tiny little pieces, I, just, I, could, I, could, I did them in a blink of an eye almost. And then today's one, again we've got four pieces, but it is, it is much more palatable doing it in these smaller pieces because it is a, it is a quite a quite a slab of music to get through otherwise. Um, but am I enjoying it? Yes I am. Am I finding it interesting very much so I think uh, certainly on some of the older pieces and I think oh, the older I mean the ones I've previously done the a GNC in particular I think 
had a very strong Vangelis uh, feel to it. Um, and it's really cool to hear some of the him playing with other instruments rather than just the sort of the, the lush keyboards that we came to know know him for in later times, especially sort of in his movie scores and uh, and stuff like that. But uh, this is a great <laughs> a great listen. It's good fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I suspect we should be listening to part four. So hopefully part five is actually um, the last bit will be the four songs all together as well. So we've got Infinity, Hick and Nunk, All the Beasts, no, no, sir, all the beasts, all the seats were occupied and break. There we go. Right. I hope you've enjoyed this. I shall see you on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim, over and... Out.